the good part about being in a major city in Europe, uh, right now we're in Barcelona, is that you have all the big brands. And not only that, in major cities, you also have uh, a bigger sortiment. So I had an opportunity to visit a Nike store here, and um, I'm quite happy with what I found. Uh, well, you probably know that Nike is one of my favorite brands when it comes to sports, basically because they they experiment with the fabrics, they try out new things, and uh, some of them, uh, it's a little bit of a hit, of a hit and miss. So some of the things they come up with are not really my taste, but it's definitely not the brand I'll look out for. So let me show you what I got. I had, um, actually, when I looked at the shoes, you know, you know you can buy online everything, but it's one thing uh, to actually see them in person and try them out. And here, the department was so big, the Nike department, that they actually had spike shoes. This is very rare to see, I think, in, in uh, a lot of department stores, you don't find this type of shoes. And um, this model here uh, has only four spikes. Uh, it's very, very light, that's why I bought it. And uh, this is more for, I would say, like 400 meter runs. And I look forward to training these. Uh, you will actually see that most of the things that I buy I are to motivate me to train uh, in in the rain, in the winter, uh, when it's mentally not that easy to train. In the summer, you know, just wear shorts and a, a pair of running shoes and that's it. Uh, here, for instance, this is a, a, like a very, very thin hoodie. Uh, looks like religious sportswear. The interesting thing here is the the neck part here that actually protects, you know, when you start running outside and it's below zero, you will get really cold uh, and uh, protecting the skin, all areas of the skin, it makes a big difference. So we'll see, we'll see how this will help out. Uh, also got another long sleeve, very thin, very soft um, shirt. And, and this is heavily overpriced and I really don't mind because I invest in Nike I believe in this brand so as an investor I think it's good that they charge you a lot for the items so they make more profits and the quarterly dividend is higher um, it, it's a lot of small details that other brands don't uh, bother with and I like it um, also got these tights this is a this is almost like a military pattern and after spending one year in the military i don't really uh, want to wear anything resembling the military or any, anything like that but uh, and i would prefer a more colorful uh, variation of this but this will do uh, it's going to be interesting usually all the winter sports wear is, is just black so wearing something like this will make it a little bit lighter on the eyes and um, you know we have a lot of athletes they want to be sponsored by different brands and of course Nike is on, on top of a lot of people's list but uh, I definitely think that if you believe in a brand very heavily especially if it's a, a retail company then you should try the products yourself before investing it and then you should invest in it buy some stock it's easy to buy Nike shares and uh, I made so much money on it so I'm happy I might as well spend a little, a little bit on it as well I mean, this is this is like buying your own product now so uh, I'm kind of happy with the purchases uh, I tried also the Nike ID uh, there's not that much I want to change on the product so I didn't do anything that um, I think they're missing the point with the Nike ID actually uh, there aren't too many things you can a brand with your name or, or something like that put more text on the products so I think they're missing out there but um, yeah I'm happy with this and uh, I'll catch up with you guys later